As a physician scientist here at Children's Hospital, I see lots of kids with a variety of uh, both genetic and malignant conditions that affect the blood and the bone marrow. I see kids come in with sickle cell anemia. It's a very, very painful illness that's caused by a single abnormal base, a single point mutation out of the three billion uh, pieces of genetic code in their cells. And yet that single abnormal molecule results in a tendency for their blood to become thick and sludge in their vessels and cause excruciating pain and a deterioration in organs over time, the heart, the lungs, the kidneys. That's a very devastating disease and yet we can now study that in a petri dish. We can take sickle cells from a, from a patient, put them into a petri dish, reprogram them, repair the sickle cell defect and in a mouse model, we've actually been able to show that you can effect essentially a cure in that disease. But then there's dozens of others. There are various kinds of anemias and bone marrow failure, things called Fanconi's anemia, dyskeratosis congenita. A variety of these conditions are all now subject to the same basic platform where we take the patient's cells, we reprogram, reprogram them into stem cells in a petri dish, and then have a tool for research and a possible cell for therapy.